Hi, I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. Today I want to talk about a lady named Laverne Wilkinson. Laverne went to the doctor. She was having problems. The doctor took a chest x-ray which showed a suspicious mass or a suspicious lesion and didn't mention anything to Laverne about it. Uh, months later, years later, uh, Laverne was having a worsening of her symptoms, went back to the doctor, and it was at that point that they realized that she had cancer, they had failed to tell her about it, and they robbed her of her ability to get treatment to put that cancer into remission. Laverne passed away, she left an autistic daughter, she left family members behind, and her family members brought a malpractice case against the providers who negligently failed to tell her about the suspicious mass on the chest x-ray. The case was not a valid case, though, because this happened in New York. New York has a two and a half year statute of limitations on malpractice claims, and the lawsuit wasn't filed within that two and a half year period. Now, the New York State Assembly is working on a law, working on a bill that may become a law called Laverne's Law, which would change the statute of limitations. Now, if you're watching this and you've seen our prior videos, you know that a statute of limitations is a law that limits the time during which you may file a valid lawsuit. The problem with most, I don't know if most is the right word, but a lot of states have statute of limitations where the statute, the time period starts running when the negligent act or omission starts to run, not when you find out about it. So you can go to a doctor, the doctor can completely botch your case, you don't know about it until two years later when the symptoms start to come up from the cancer that they failed to diagnose or that they failed to tell you about. Um, you can have this situation where you don't find out they did something wrong until it's too late to sue for it. And if you're leaving behind an autistic child, you're leaving behind responsibilities, you, you know, your family might want to bring a lawsuit against the wrongdoer because they no longer have you to support them. And so I guess my question is, what do you think, if you're viewing this video, what do you think about this statute of limitations issue? Should it be that once a two year or two and a half year period of time goes by, even if you never realized, you never knew, you never could have known that you had the right to sue, your right to sue is barred, or should it be from the date of discovery? Should every state have a law that says the limitations on a lawsuit, that limitations period on a lawsuit begins to run when you discover the negligence. I'm interested to know what you think. I think there might be arguments back and forth. Let me know what you think. Send me an email, ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com or you can go on our Facebook page and comment on this video, but I'm interested to know what people think. Thanks for watching.